just going to leave my phone in my bag here so it stays connected. Okay. And you are all good, Knuckles. Thank you for doing this. Yep. Appreciate it. I'm sure Ro will be around. He's over there still? Yeah. All good. I don't know what the mute button is. Is it? What did you do? You were saying that was okay. It's a flip-flop. It's great. No, it's, it's not, I don't think. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Okay. We're chilling, we're chilling. What did you think? What do you think he said about, about Canada? You asked me about the uh, the goalie's legs being crossed. It's something that the Canadian goalies do a lot.
And it's the end of warm-ups. Boys, you guys will be getting the H's, O's, R's, N's, P's, T's, and S's. Yeah, you're going to be starting. Hell yeah. Oh, Hunter Down with the commentary? Yeah, Hunter Down. Play by play. Is it on? Is it unmuted? I'm sorry, I blacked out the camera. Oh, it's popping. Is it unmuted? Dude, you're so corny. Yeah, it's unmuted. So, no swearing. What's up? Nah, but me and Hunter are color commentating. Yes, we are. I'm not gonna slip. I don't slip up, bro. I don't slip up. I gotta oh get a filter. God. I gotta get a filter. Shut up. I'm you saying good. that just making everybody nervous. You don't have a filter. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Jax is the one we're gonna have to bleep on this. Oh, 100%. Hey, Jax. Jax, you need to watch yourself. What is that? Fancy Zen? Huh? Fruit flavored? Fruity. I know, tropical cocktail. Xavier's cheap like 20 of them. Two of them? At once? Yeah. I, I, like, how do I cover the ears? Do you know how to use it? Better than I do. This? Oh, yeah. I mean, I know you click the screen and then it... It's got a good view of our, of our rink today, boys. Chicago Hornets playing the Ohio Warriors. Do you know where they're from? Like, what town? I don't know. I I've know that they are from before. Ohio. They are a team of all veterans. Um, we who love I believe our veterans were except wounded when in we're combat. Against them. Um, maybe Columbus? Probably. Or maybe not, actually. Maybe like Cincinnati or something. Yeah, who cares? But. Let's go! Okay. I, I, couldn't hear, I couldn't hear myself over there, I thought they stopped. I'm so loud. Do it again. Let's go! The starting lineup for the Chicago Hornets, starting at defense, number 24, the captain, Brendan Myers, and number 49, Michael Vopentesta. Alternate starting captain. At, starting at center, number 21, Xavier Verola, and the wingers are number 12, Xander Marshall, and number 20, ZJ Marshall. The Marshall brothers. Yeah. The referee is signaling to the goalies, and now we are dropping a puck okay. on the first period. Ohio, Chicago. This is honestly the best angle we've ever had to film one of these games. Michael Vopentesta takes the puck off the blue line, pass to Xavier Verola is tapped into the zone. Ohio is retrieving it. Ice. Controversial icing call. <laughs> the way it looked for me, it looked like Xavier tipped it. Zoomed in a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Joa making inappropriate gestures at the camera. He will be fined by NBC for that. Yeah. <laughs> Down in front. Who do you think you are, Joe? Come on. The face off. Jason. Undecidedly won by Columbus. Not Columbus, Ohio. Uh, See, you got me on the Columbus train there. Fought in the corner by number 12 and number 24. Oh, bad giveaway up oh, in the front. Oh. But he fumbles the shot. A quick shot behind the net, possibly off the blocker of number 60, Jason Antor, the starting goaltender for the Hornets advance. Xander Marshall fighting it off in the corner with an Ohio warrior and it's kept in at the blue line by the defenseman. Now behind the net, Michael Vopentesta on the puck, trying to look for a lane out of the zone. He's up against the boards. Two Ohio Warriors fighting with MVP for the puck, but he keeps it under his sled. And the referee's will blow the whistle. Shout out to our coaches standing behind. Or Tim and Bill, our equipment guys, actually. The coaches for this game, Jim Smith, Zach Johnson, Dave Ciotta, and Joey Calzante. Joey Calzante, the GOAT. My favorite. Owns great Italian restaurant, Mama Rio's in Bettsville. Hit him up. Shameless plug. Yeah. Well, they, they support, support our homies. They support the Hornets. We support them. Amen. Now, Xavier along the Despite boards. The yeah. Ooh. 
Now into the right corner on the goal line, Michael Volpentesta fighting with number 30 of the Warriors, trying to get it out, but it's kept in. Number 15 now a big hit by Xavier Varola, and it's behind the net all the way to almost the blue line, but it's kept in again by the Warriors. Now number 12 fighting for a big hit, Woo! and it's still in the zone. Xavier's Cleared trying to break out. it out into the Hornets bench. Number 22, the Warriors is trying to get it out. Looks like it's under 22. Xander Marshall standing by waiting for the puck to come out. Dominoes. Fight for it, Xander! Now get it out there. And it goes. it goes to the center red line. Now all the way past the net, almost off Jason Antor's blocker. Number 30, a quick shot from the corner. It's all the way around. Antor didn't get a hand on it. It went straight back to the crease. The now it's fought for. Xander Marshall keeps it out. Now it's on net. Go, ZJ! ZJ's hustling back, trying to win this puck from number 15 of the Warriors. A little push and a shove, and it's on the red line. Number 15 trying to get it around the boards. Now number 24 going for the puck. He's got to look for the pass here, or he could get a quick shot off maybe. Goalie for the Ohio Warriors is sporting the cross-legged sled. A very rare occurrence in American sled oh, hockey. Running into each other. Oh, no. It's a two-on-0 oh. breakaway for the Ohio Warriors. Jason Antor standing big in net. A quick shot. And it's Hexing! Number 60 Woo! comes up big with the blocker. Jason Antor, ladies and gentlemen, another quick shot through the crease. And now collected by Xander Marshall under the sled. He's trying to get a pass out. It's like Jason never left net. I know. And now Cleared out of the zone. It's going to be icing on the Hornets, but what a save. Jason Antor, ladies and gentlemen. The momentum is on our side. And we're going to bring it all the way down. Hornets standing big in net and on defense. An unfortunate break. Tyler Woodworth couldn't get back, but it's okay because we've got two brick walls on our team. In our organization. Big shout out to some guy named Hunter Doan. 31 <laughs> saves, 18 round shoot. What is the score? Jeffrey, the score is 0 0. We are a few minutes into the first period. We are just over three minutes into the period. 11 48 to go in the first. And the puck Jason dropped, Antor and kept the score 0 0. It's cleanly won by Ohio. And now Michael McCarthy going. A quick shot off goes off Tyler Woodworth. Tyler Woodworth trying to get it out in front of the net. Now, number 30. Uh, uh, a goal. Goal, goal scored by number 30 on the Ohio Warriors. It's 1-0 Ohio. A quick shot off Tyler Woodworth. He couldn't control it. Number 30 comes in and skates across, and nothing I or Jason or Jack could ever do about that one. That's a great shot off the corner. Yeah, it's tough when they go in, in deep and kind of crash the net like that, Hunter. When you're, when you're a goalie and you're standing that far back in the crease, there's just not much you can do. Jason's got big pads on, but he doesn't have two long legs, so unless he sprawls out for that puck, there's really not much we can do. Now, number 30 again. It's clear number 30 is who we have to keep an eye out for on this team. Number 30 lost, the, lost his stick. And now, Michael McCarthy and Aaron Holiday trying to fight it off, and it's dumped in into the corner by Brandon Myers. Now, Aaron Jeff. Holiday on the puck. Aaron Holiday trying to get it back to Michael McCarthy. A good pass, but Michael McCarthy couldn't control it. Now it's behind the net. By the oh, way, Michael McCarthy collects it on the red line. Jeffrey says good saves today, Hunter. Thank you. I appreciate it, Jeffrey. It's in the corner behind the trash can. So Brendan Myers, Myers has it. Get a quick Shoots shot, it but he blocked. It in the air. Our captain, as you see with that bright sea on his jersey. It will be blown dead if the Hornets touch it. They'll let Ohio collect it behind their own net, waving off the high sticking call. And now back. Brendan Myers, a quick shot. Oh! oh! An arm save by the goalie for Ohio. That's a great save, Jack. Yes, it is. Goalie number 34 from Ohio. He had his glove down trying to recover, and he just gets that arm up and gets it off the elbow. That's a great save. Yeah, this is the first time the Hornets are playing the Warriors. It does seem to be a pretty fair matchup, I'd say. Michael McCarthy trying to get it out, but he's hit. But now Brendan Myers collects it, and he gets it out of the zone. Passes it towards the Hornets bench, and Ohio collects it. Trying to get it out, but he bounces it off Xander Marshall's sled on the bench. Yeah. We do appreciate it. And now the Hornets trying to get it in. Sean Grady is offside. Ah, uh, he's back on. Good. And now the puck gets back to Tyler Woodworth, but he misses the puck. Shout out. out to our star commentator from Fort Wayne, Mr. Matt um, Hen. 
And now Sam in the a front. pass from the corner. A good cross crease, but it's broken up by Mike, Michael McCarthy. What a play. Just watch the trickle in. Scrum in front, but it's passed out by Brendan Myers. What Jeffrey, a great defensive we, play. Jeffrey, we do appreciate the support on being up at 6 in the morning to watch our games. The commitment of Jeffrey Hockenberry, unrivaled. We Un do miss him this season. Or Unfortunately, this tournament. he couldn't attend. We love him. It's cleared there out. There will be no icing. Ohio trying to race back to get it. Sean Grady is trying his best to fight for this ball. Goalie plays it. Michael it McCarthy out in the corner. An uncontested shot. He misses wide. Now Brendan Meyer trying to collect on the goal line. What will he do? He passes it up. Out in front. A save by the goalie on Aaron Holiday's shot in front. And it's fought for behind the net. Michael McCarthy and Aaron Holiday with Brendan Myers, 24, trying to collect on the red line. A I'd like pass to, out hits the ref in the state. We'd like to shout out our eight viewers right now. Appreciate the support. Aaron tries to get a pass. Sean keeps Sean it in the zone. Sean fighting for it. It's back McCarthy behind. loses it behind him. Cleared out, Puckies out of the play. play. The doors. That's a rare one. We never really see out of plays in sled. <laughs> what? Yeah. Looks like we're going for a line change. Xavier, Xander, and ZJ. The starting lineup for the Hornets is now back on the ice. And we will get a Looks like we are not changing our defensive pairing. It is still MVP and Brendan Myers. Well, Tyler was out there now. They put Mikey back in. Jeffrey, we were hoping the same thing. This. Hornets, our Hornets novice team looks poised to take home a championship this year. Our advanced team is also Xavier looking very good. A great on pass it. attempt. Pass Just a little it slow. On it. Now it's on the goal line. Number, Number 30. 30. Passes it Marshall. right to ZJ. Right behind him, but Brendan sees it. Brendan, tries for the block. Gets out of the zone. Now the Hornets have to regroup in the neutral zone. MVP and Xavier. Xavier Verola now collecting the puck in his own defensive zone. Couldn't handle it. Now all the way to Jason Antor. No, it misses his blocker. Hornets trying desperately to get this puck out of the zone. Xavier Verola taking it up, dancing around number 72. Xavier is dancing around this defense, but he hits the Same team, team boys. Same team. A pass, a big hit, but a pass to Michael Bopatesta avoids a turnover. Now, turning over the puck, no. Xander Marshall on the net. All the way to the goalie. The goalie will goalie tap it to the passes blue line, at weak but side. Kept in by Brandon Myers. Oh. And I'd like to say, you know, it's amazing to see these guys. They are kind of following the coach's playbook. You know, coaching is a big part of this team. And now, Brandon Myers, a quick shot. Oh! The goalie couldn't get his glove on it, almost went in. You know, but, but speaking of coaching, that is one thing we've, you know, tried to be working on, just keeping our shots low. Big hit on the by ice. Xavier Marola on the blue line. And now Michael Volpin tested dumping it in. Hornets were offside, but now they're going in the zone, trying to chase this puck down. Xavier Marola, the big enforcer on the ice. Looking for a second goal of the tourney today. Now, CJ Marshall trying to keep it, and he misses it with a stick. That's a big thing that ZJ has been trying to work on is controlling his stick. Unfortunately, ZJ doesn't have the longest arm, so he use, tries to use his sticks to his advantage. Something he's struggled with his whole career, but he's definitely made an impact trying to resolve that issue. Coaches and equipment staff trying to work with them. Get on side, boys. Now the Hornets are on, on side. Xavier Verola trying to chase down this puck, trying to lay the body on number 15. Lots of big hit. The dump and, dump and chase strategy has been effective for us in the past. David Verola along the boards, fighting for it. He's hit, and now going back to collect it. They can't keep it in. No, they can. Oh, yeah. Brendan Myers doing his best to control it, and now the Hornets are offside, trying to regroup. The MVP trying to kill, keep it. Big number 49 trying to dump it in, and he does. Now the Warriors control the puck. A, a good pass, but Brendan Myers collects it after numbers 22 couldn't handle it. A shot dumped in the zone, and Mahomes will try and chase it down. Hey, Jeffrey Hockenberry wants a chant. Next stop of the whistle, or next stop to play, we'll get one. And now MVP, maybe looking for a quick shot along the boards. He gets it. Oh, the same team, same team. Good play. Yeah, that is one of those things, you know, you got to work out or watch out for. And sled, there's a lot more things that could fall out and 
be hazardous on the ice for the our referees yes, and pushers. From the game yesterday, we had a few equipment yeah, malfunctions. Uh, someone got hit and their pins fell off. So yeah, it it's definitely happened. a concern for the players, the referees, the coaches. There's a lot more of a safety hazard with all the metal picks. So safety is uh, imperative in this sport. Hockey is one of the most dangerous sports in the world, and sled hockey is even more dangerous. Number 30 was offside toward its regroup in their defensive zone. A good pass. MVP to Xander Marshall. Pass is intercepted. And now it's back on the Hornets' blue line, but number 24, the captain, keeps it out. A pass in now into the corner. MVP going to collect it on his goal line. We have about 4.36 left in the period. Score is 1-0, Ohio Warriors. Hornets are doing a good job at pressuring this defense, and they're only a big hit by Michael McCarthy. It's collected in the defensive zone. And now a pass up. Good pass. Go, Aaron. Aaron, also known as Flash. Oh. You know, there's a reason he has the nickname Flash, because he gets speed and very quick and amazing bursts where he's very powerful, especially on breakaways. Wraparound attempt, it's under the goalie. What a stop. McCarthy almost had it. It was on the line. Now this goalie is really good. All right, we'd like to give a shout-out to our fans real quick as we're about to start a Here We Go Hornets chant. Hunter, are you ready to lead it? Three, two, one. Here we go, Hornets! Here we go! Here we go, Hornets! Here we go! Here we go, Hornets! Here we go! Yeah. Shout out to our fans. And now a face off in the offensive zone for the Hornets. Michael McCarthy taking it. Brendan Myers at the top of the dot with Aaron Holiday and Sean Grady. That adds to the experience. Aaron Holiday fighting with number 30, their star player. Now yeah, Michael McCarthy's going to collect it. Brendan Myers clutched to the top of the guy. Oh, what a pass! Uh, ah. Aaron Holiday couldn't control it. Sean Grady tried to get it, but it was way out of his reach. Sean was a little bit more back. It would have been an amazing pass, but it happened. Now Sean Grady has it along the boards. A pass in front. Oh, what a shot! Another shot attempt. The Hornets are keeping the pressure on in their zone, and looks like Ohio is starting to feel it. 30 breaks it up. Looks like they're about to clear the zone. Clears the zone, but Tyler Woodworth is right there to recover it. He keeps it away from number 30 with an amazing move. Three minutes left in the first period. The shots are five for the Hornets. Brendan battling it out. For the Ohio Warriors. And now Good. McCarthy dump, dumps it in and he's chasing it behind the net. Dump it, Chase. Number 18 of the Warriors is trying desperately to keep up with the speed set, but he can't. Now in front oh, of good attempt, good there. attempt. Aaron just wasn't there. You know, one thing the Hornets do well is those on the ice close-up shots. I think it's better than their lifting game. Our so they're trying to, is superb. They are trying to do that, especially in these games where they're just trying to keep pressure on in their zone. And 2.30 left in the first, Ohio with the icing ball, and it'll be an offensive zone faceoff for the Chicago Hornets. There will not be a line change, except for the center. Oh, there will be. Okay, never mind. Now the starting lineup back out for the Hornets, Xavier Verlo and Marshall. Here we go! Faceoff. Undecidedly won by the Here Hornets. are fans over there doing a Here We Go Hornets chant again. Brennan Myers will keep it in and a quick shot on the ice. Ohio defenseman will get it out and now it's a 2 on 0. Number 30, 1 on 0 with Jason Antor. He stands big in net and, a and shot number 30 and score. scores his second of the game with 2.13 left in the first period. But it is okay, the Hornets will regroup. We have been down before and we will come back. Unfortunate goal. Jason Antor just left his blocker side a little too open. He's not playing aggressively enough at the top of his crease. Keep in mind, this is Jason Antor's first tournament back in net since mid-season mid last year, so a little rusty, but he's played great so far. Yeah, it, it was a big deal for... Um, yeah, a lot of confusion. It, it, the adult team has had over three starting goalies. Yeah, it, it was a... It was really nice. Jason was able to volunteer and take that starting goaltender spot, and we appreciate it so much. 
and he's he's done a great job being back. You know, he seems like there isn't really much rust. It's just kind of you know the goals that have been let in. If just he's only had three let in since the tourney started. Now, Shout out Franco Calzante. Taken away by number 15, the Ohio Warriors. He gets the puck and he's trying to cycle it. He'll get it to Brendan Myers, but he passes back to Barola. Barola behind the net, no one in front. Now Brendan Myers trying to look for the quick shot. Quick shot in front of the net, but it goes wide to the crease. To the corner. Now number 12, Xander Marshall trying to fight off number 73, the Warriors. A big hit in the corner. Big hit, delay penalty. Penalty. Delay Jason, penalty. Jason, go to the bench. Nah, it looks like they're going to call. They're going to call and boning penalty on number 73 of the Ohio Warriors. Illegal contact on number 12, Xander Marshall. So the Hornets will be on the power play for the final one minute and 17 of the period and an additional time to begin the second period. Why did you want OJC to go to the bench? During a delayed penalty, the goalie can go to the bench and get an extra skater because the second that the other team touches the puck, the player is gone dead, so they can't score. Yeah. Yeah. So the power play is a big thing we've been trying to work on this season. We've had a lot of opportunities with it our past few tournaments. See if the boys can take advantage of the man advantage. We'd also like to shout out to Coach Kevin McSweeney, who unfortunately is not able to join us. Uh, he's complimenting mine and Hunter's commentary. We certainly appreciate our fans. Um, Coach Kevin uh, did really well with the Chicago Warriors hockey team. Um, and they won their national tournament a couple weeks ago uh, nearby in Voorhees, New Jersey. So sending love to Kevin and the Warriors. There's a scrum in front. Looks like puck is covered. Xavier Barola just tried to get it under the sled in front of the crease, but he couldn't. Too many defenders and the goalie in front. Shots are now 6-1 to one in favor of the Hornets. It says 5-2 to two now. Well, yeah, well, they didn't count Xavier's shot um, yet. It's been 5-1 it's been five to one this whole time. They haven't really been updating the shots. I'm sure it's more than 5, but... Uh, a minute 30 left on the man advantage. Shot goes off. We have 45 seconds left in the period. Oh, puck is a loose big, up front. Another big blocker save. McCarthy is really trying to be aggressive near that front of the net. Oh, Brendan Myers keeps Brendan it in. Myers. Brendan just rides the blue line. Yeah, Brendan, Brendan Myers, Myers is going for it. it. We have 12 seconds remaining in the period. A shot on net blocked by the defenseman, and it, the puck will skate Looks like it's going to clear out. That's probably going to do it for the period. Three, two, and one. That closes off the first period. All right. Score is 2-0. Shots are seven to two in favor of the Hornets. Hornets trying to capitalize on the power play to start the second period. 43 seconds left. Shots are on the board marked seven to two in favor of the Hornets. Hornets have been doing better in the zone. Uh, so, you know, I'm kind of curious what uh, coaches are talking about on there. They're probably just talking about keep peppering them with shots and you know, one of them's bound to go in. Obviously, you know, on the defensive end, it's just about back checking and protecting Jason. But I think we're doing well. We're gonna be we're gonna be switching sides. Uh, the biggest storyline so far: goalie number number 34 for the uh, Ohio Warriors, been standing big in net. Obviously, sporting the cross-legged style, very popular in Canada. Obviously, Dominic Larock. Goalie for the Canadian national team also sports the cross-legged style, often seen with amputee goalies. Yeah. Yeah. I was looking to see if we can flip the camera. Yeah, I'm so scared. I don't think I'm scared more than yeah. Oh god, that's way too close. Oh. Yeah. Shout out from your crew. We also have our fellow analysts over here and coaches: Rich Kochansky, Vince Bonesteel, Franco Cozante. Captain for the novice team, Rowan Cardi, and Zaylin Marshall. Yeah. This goon right here. Yeah, and, and me. Obviously, you're. Is anyone actually watching? Mr. We have 11 people watching. Mr. Hex, oh, that's, that's enough. All right, give me the letters, Jeffrey says. All right, we want to start it? Yeah. All right. Three, two, one. Give me your name!
H. Give me an O. O. Give me an R. R. Give me an N. O. Give me an E. E. Give me a T. T. Give me an S. S. What's that spell? Hold I can't hear you. Hold I can't hear you. back out on the ice to start the second period. ZJ Marshall, Xander Marshall on the wing, in center, Xavier Verola, and on defense, number 49, Michael Wilpentesta, the ultimate captain, and captain Brendan Myers, number 24. Starting the period with 43 seconds on the man advantage. Mikey. Face off won by the Hornets. Brendan. Myers off the boards trying to get it to Xavier Verola, but number 30 collects it back to Michael Wilpentesta trying to get it off the boards. He does. And now the puck enter, enters the, uh, no. MVP. Hornets desperately trying to capitalize on his power play. They MVP can, gets it to X and a beautiful pass, but he loses it. Big thing with Xavier Verula. He's quick, he's big, ah. but he can't. Jump scare by, well. he got a jump scare by Joa Sidello. I think we're gonna have to get him ejected for that. MVP he taking it up the zone. Oh. No, this is the not get this. Oh. Icing. I I Going all the way back down to the Hornets defensive zone. That'll end the power play for the Hornets. Nothing going for them. Got a few shots that didn't make it to the goalie, but uh, overall, I'd, I'd say the pressure on the power play was good. They just didn't have it in their zone long enough. Oh yeah. We'd like to shout out Christopher from our Navis team who's joining us in the booth. What are your thoughts, Chris? How's this going? Uh, it's going great. It's really going great. It's going great. How do you think we're going to tie it up and gain the lead? How do you think we're going to tie it up and gain the lead? Uh, I think go, we just got to go. We just oh, yeah. Go. Now Xander Marshall, the offensive clean. zone, collecting the puck Playing along clean. the boards. He's looking for a pass. Playing clean, staying out of the box is huge. Christopher is right. Oh, so Can you please pronounce your last name for me? No oh, penalties oh, yet for the Hornets. Oh, oh, no, oh, no. Dirk or Dirk All right, I'm still oh, yeah, probably okay. not going to remember that. Puck makes Very it out of the zone. Xavier Verula trying to get it back in. Fought along in the Hornets bench and now offside. The score. Goes back in, now ZJ Marshall trying to hustle and get back. The score is 2-0. Uh, the um, Ohio uh, Warriors are beating us. Uh, 2-0. 13-23 in the second period. As what a great save from Jason. Man. Jason Antor, unfortunately, unfortunately lets in another one. Puck and it goes into the net. The score is now 3-0. 3-0 for the Ohio Warriors. Hornets are looking to regroup. Line change. This is definitely a surmountable deficit. I think the Hornets can 100% come back. It's this goalie that they have to worry about because this goalie has been standing tall. In he this. is. He, he is a huge. He he I mean, changed from a, a Unfortunately, no a save so far for Jason Antor. But the biggest thing for him in that situation, and of course I dealt with this yesterday in the 2-0 loss for the novice team, is you just got to keep your head up. You can't let these goals get the best of you. Obviously, they haven't been great goals, especially that most recent one, but it's just, you have to keep your hopes high, your head high, you can't let it get to Obviously, I'll be honest, the goals I let in yesterday were not too good either. Sometimes, you just get a bad break as a goal center. It's really hard to play goalie in sled hockey. It takes a special amount of skill, and I think Jason Antor definitely has that skill and ability. He just needs to lock in. Offside. You know, I think the most common goals in hockey in general. I think, I think someone just asked, what is the score? I, I told him the score already. 3 nothing. Oh, Ohio no, Warriors. Oh, you like know, the I do believe that most goals in hockey are bad goals. You know, you go back, you watch a lot of replays. The majority of goals are not very pretty. It looks like we got a penalty here. Excuse me, a T-boning penalty against or for the Hornets? Let's see. I think it's against. It Brendan Myers, I think, is heading to the penalty. No, nope, Brendan Myers, number 24. Brennan Myers, a T-boning penalty. The Ohio Warriors will go on the power play. 12 minutes and 23 seconds left in the... Huge penalty field. kill for the Hornets. They are trying to keep this lead. We do it later. Well, they are trying to prevent I'm, I'm the Warriors from expanding their lead. I'm staying for this game, and I'm... Her, her game's like an hour after. 
And this is a hard, and this is a hard team for the Hornets. This is a against. very, um, you know, yeah. This is a new team. We've never played them before, so we're we're just seeing how it goes. Ah, uh, key boning. Oh no! Oh no! Uh, is what it appeared to be. I don't know. It might have been a cross check, but I think it was definitely T Bone. Hornets looking to clear it out their zone. Xavier Verola. Successful clear. Passes it to McCarthy. McCarthy is not able to maintain possession. Yeah. All right. The wall slamming. You can get him on posters. You can get him on a flash drive, I think. And then you can take him on Walmart and get him turned out. Okay. He said there were like 45 or 55 for how many? Just one? For one that, but they're big. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. That was contact. That was good contact. Big hit. Hornets, one minute left on the penalty. Hornets are doing a good job on the penalty kill. It's dumped in by number 30, and he's fighting for it along the boards. Now Michael Bolton Tester trying to put the pressure. A good pass. But 22 is right there for it. Big save by Jason Antor. Big save by Jason. Front of the sled by Jason Antor. I'd like to give a shout out to viewers Zay and J um, well, we'd like to give a shout out to uh, Jay Francher saying hello to Zaylin. Jay Francher said hi. Zaylin's next to us. He's, uh, I don't think she's paying attention. Jay Francher. Yes, Jay Francher. Michael McCarthy fighting along. He's some uh, family friend. Cool. Now, Ohio get, trying to get it out. Looks like it'll be an icing call. That's Ohio no. has it in the Number 30 stone. beats out Michael Wilson tested it. Negate the icing. That is one. Wrapping around. A quick That's shot of save by Jason Big save. Big save. save with the front of the sled. Number 73 now keeping it. You know, that is. And now the penalty ends for Ohio. We're back to even strength. Michael. Brendan Myers now back on the ice. That Point is one thing that I don't know if we commentated on. It is hybrid icing this tournament. Most it's just no touch. Simple. If it crosses the red line, it is icing. This is NHL rules. If you... Ice it, and your team beats it to the puck. It is waved off. This rule does not apply for the novice league. Thanks, well, Ice it goes now. Michael McCarthy trying to fight for it with number 15 of the Warriors on the behind the net. Michael McCarthy recovers the puck. Looks like they're trying to keep that same playbook of just getting behind the net and doing wraparounds. It's what's now. Brendan Myers trying to look for a pass in front of the net. He makes it. But it goes to no one now. Michael Volpentesta trying to collect it along the boards. He does. He'll go for a quick shot. No, he'll pass it off. Yeah. Now Xavier Varola. Oh. Big hit on number 30. Brendan Myers is collecting it now at the top of the dot. Trying to look for a pass. Hornets are bunching up. This is definitely something that the coaches are going to have a word with about them. A pass in front blocked by number nine of the Warriors. And now the Warriors have a chance to break it out of their own zone. Yeah. But they missed a puck. CJ's on the bench. <laughs> You're about the same size. Puck is behind Number the net. 21 behind the net, Xavier Varola. Michael McCarthy tries to recover the puck. He does. He'll wrap around. He Brendan Myers is going to try and get a quick shot on net. Saved off the blocker of Ohio Warriors, number 34. And now Michael Volpentesta. Pass attempt to MVP. 21, can you do something for me? Off the helmet, and it bounces almost to the blue line. And now Ohio's trying to get a quick breakout. Number 30, but Brendan Myers is hustling back. He'll cut off any shot attempt. Oh! A big hit by number 30 on Xavier Barola. Now it's 73, trying to pass it back in. They were offsides, but now Brendan Myers collects it and tries to get it out. Looks like it's along the boards. The Hornet zone by Michael Wilpentester recovering. Getting the puck to Xavier Verola oh, yeah, off the ice. And now Michael McCarthy with a chance. He's got a breakaway. Michael McCarthy on the net. But he, uh, a big stick stop. A poke check by number 34. And it's behind the net. It went too far. Michael McCarthy passed it a little too far ahead of himself and couldn't recover in time to get a clean okay. shot off. Tyler Woodworth working for it. Keeps it in the zone. Tyler is one of our veteran defenseman who just knows how to stay on that blue line and get his sticks out. Is he the, is he the longest tenured player in the Hornets? I think he is very close to it, him and Brendan. McCarthy are kind of the big three, the, the first um, group.
group on the team. A lot of veteran leadership on this somewhat younger Hornets team. Some younger players on the advanced team. Uh, the uh, Xavier Verola, 16 years old. Some uh, double rostered players, Hunter Doan, uh, Rowan Cargi, uh, and then of course ZJ and Xander Marshall, both early 20s, late teens. So we got a much younger team. Starting off after making their debut with Novice last year, they moved up to advance quickly. Just kind of goes to show their skill. Mike Wolf and Tessa now trying to get it up the boards, but he's stopped by the Ohio Warriors player. Brendan Myers now collects it, trying to get it into the zone. He tries to snake, and he does. Aaron Holiday. He tried, though. Fred breaks up the play. Somewhat of maybe a check to the head. He and that'll be icing for the Hornets. And now we will get a defensive zone faceoff. No. Waved off. Icing is waved. did not try and go for it at all. A quick shot off the side of the net. Goes off the post. Aaron looking to bounce it in there. The goaltender makes the stop. Shots are now 9-3 to three Hornets. They took 30 off. This is their time. They took 30 off. In a, a oh. Miss Grady makes a good point. Sean Grady is Sean Grady's probably tied with longest tenured on the team as well. He's been here since the beginning. He is one of one of the first. Has, has anyone been here for like since the beginning? I think McCarthy Tyler Brendan was very close to the beginning. I think he was at there at the beginning too. I mean, this is the 20th season of the Hornets. Uh, the 2003-2004 season was their first. We are now in the 23-24 season. Obviously, you'd like to give a shout out to, of course, our general manager, our team owner, JJ uh, O'Connor. Started the Hornets in 2003. Has done an absolutely excellent job. He was also the disabled chair for USA Hockey. Now a pass to Xavier Verola. He controls it, trying to get an outlet pass. Now to Brendan Myers into the zone. Brendan Myers looking for a quick shot on net. He does, but he's wide. Oh, it's a little up. Yeah, Brendan just has to keep those shots down. You know, one thing I've told him in my interactions with them is like, you can keep the shots on the ice and nine times out of 10, those are going in because they're not going to expect it. Especially in the front, you can bake it off of somebody. From a goaltender's perspective, um, I think a big thing that the Hornets should focus on this game is just trying to get it into those top corners because this goalie's wingspan clearly is not the greatest. If that shot was any closer, it probably would have went off a of post and in. This goalie, He's got a short wingspan, so he's going to be reaching for these high shots in the corner. Jeffrey Hockenberry asking for a shout-out after uh, Brendan Myers goes wide on the net. Jeffrey, known for his big, long shots that sometimes are the greatest, and sometimes they fly off, but you know what? It's okay. Somewhat hit or miss, but when he hits, he Je hits. Jeffrey Hockenberry, one of uh, the greatest novice players to play the game. We do miss him this tournament. Obviously, the, the greatest pusher, push player of all time, no doubt. Definitely up there. Now, Hornets trying to get it into the zone. Brendan, Brendan Myers has an open it. lane. Brendan Myers, a quick shot right into the glove of the Ohio goalie. Just a little a little too much sauce on that shot, not a very uh, hard shot. But they're just trying to pepper and wear down this goalie, and I think that's a great game plan for the Hornets. Because this goalie is the only thing keeping him in this game. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Throw on the Vipers. I don't know on the Vipers. What's their name? Maybe the Hunter. I just want a Hunter. Face off with the Is second one. What do you ask him? What? Oh, shit. I'd like to like, shout out. Ohio oh. Now number 11, Michael McCarthy on the goal line trying to break it out for the Hornets and he does. It goes into the Ohio bench and now flash Aaron Holiday trying to keep it in but he couldn't get around the Ohio defenseman. Hornets chasing after the puck after it gets into the zone. Michael McCarthy, number 11. The only... Oh, we missed it. Michael McCarthy, the only w, a double leg amputee on the team. What he lacks, in, what he lacks in legs, he makes up in speed. Yeah, he is one of the <laughs> fastest, if not the fastest Brendan player on the Myers Hornets this season. Trying to get up to the puck, now, number 30 no. on the goal line, trying to look for a, a tough angle Puck's shot, down. trying to dance around Brendan Myers, but he can't. The puck's in front, and it'll go to number 11, Michael McCarthy. 
Now another breakout attempt, but it's kept in by the Warriors. A big hit, but Michael McCarthy couldn't finish it off. And now trying to fight for it still, Michael McCarthy showing incredible resilience on the puck. Now Tyler Woodworth on the goal line, desperately trying to get it around the boards. He does. Jeffrey, to answer your question, we are done with games today after this. We do not, Novice does not play so until tomorrow evening at 7.15 p.m. Our advanced team tomorrow is another game at 10.35. 10.35 a.m. for advanced tomorrow. We only play a max of four games this weekend for both teams. Um, Brendan Myers is getting a puck. Brendan Myers in the corner, going behind the net. Like to, and he's going to shoot it all right. to Michael McCarthy. We're going to get Jensen into the shot Michael in a McCarthy second. Is probably going to be on a breakaway, but he's Oh, he stop. misses it out. Stick pass into the corner by the goalie. Michael McCarthy. You're in the Jesus. video. Not Off quite. The side uh, of the net. She's McCarthy, just out of frame. No, you're fine. No, you're. don't worry. You're not in the way. No, you're in a great spot. You're good. Don't worry. Oh, you're totally fine. I'd yeah, like to shout out. Picture. You'll be in the You'll picture. Be when they blow the whistle. The, once the whistle's blown, we'll show you. Jensen would like to Two say Two minutes, hi. 30 seconds remaining in the second period. Hornets desperately trying to get shots on net. Here we go, Hornets. Here we go. Here, Here we go, Hornets. Here, Here we go. go. Here we go, Hornets. Here we go. Now you can show our boy. All right, we'd like. Jensen would like to say hi. My name's Jensen, and I play sword hockey. This is our Hornets. best player on the novice team. Right He's our here. youngest player by he far. He had his first shootout shot today. Yeah. Two. Two, Two shootout, shootout shots. shots. Wow, it was a long shootout. Eighteen yeah. rounds. Eighteen. Oh, it looks like we're getting a uh, another oh, no. chant started. Let's get the camera back on the action. Till 9:15 our time, right? Can my um, cousin be in the? Yeah, we'll, we'll get him on in the next whistle. Um, our, um, so, um, our uh, game is 7.15 Eastern time, which is uh, 6.15 Central time. 10.35 a.m. Eastern time, which is 9.35. We will show Jensen's cousin real quick. This is Jensen's cousin. Yeah. Yeah. He's here. Supporting uh, the Hornets, supporting his cousin's tournament out here. I gotta say, Jensen's got the best fan club. They've made the yes. best signs. Yeah, absolutely. I wish people made signs for me. Mr. D, you commit? Yes. Our, our own Jack yes, Fitzpatrick is hopefully full season. Oh, 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 Hornets. Oh, yeah. That Brendan Myers is going to be on a break. Got Brendan Myers one on one with number thirty. Trying to collect him, but he can't. And the pass gets all the way to the Ohio goalie, but he passes off the corner. Back to Brendan Myers. A big shot. Big shot. Big save. save. Number 34. What I say, hopefully, hopefully, fully DU commit by the end of the month. We should know, hopefully. Mr. Public Policy Major. Mr. Public Policy Major. I am sad, though, this is my last season for now, but I'll be around. I'll be running the Instagram account. Here we go, Hornets! Here we go! Here we go, Hornets! Here we go! Woo! Jensen getting the crowd riled up. <laughs> riled up. As I think... I can't hear you! Kevin McSweeney. Here we go, Hornets! Kevin McSweeney, here Coach go. Kevin, shouting out the novice team. Chris says hello. Now, Brendan Myers gets it out of the zone and it'll go all the way into the defensive zone. Will not make it. Number Xavier 18. Xavier Perella tried to, to catch up, but he could not. Because the there's a puck in right in He bobbles the puck, the stick of number 34. The goalie gets That's it in the corner. Xander. We have 36 seconds remaining in the second period. Xavier Perella looking like a bit of a hold, but no call from the referee. A quick shot goes oh, wide behind the net. Send it to my dad. Send that. Send it's on YouTube. We'll be able to watch it. You can look it up on your phone. We'll be able to look it up. Now, Looks like uh, uh, it Xander, Xander, Marshall, Xander Marshall taking a little long to get up. Offsides for the Ohio Warriors. Uh, Hornets trying to collect it. And the that will do the period. 
shots are 10 to 5 in favor of the Hornets still. Jason Antor with a much better period. So, Jeffrey, I'm going to miss you too, bud. I'll, I'll make some appearances, especially at next year's uh, next year's national tournament. I am not allowed to disclose the location, but I did learn it, and I will be making an appearance. It is, it? it is not out west, though. Can I will you, say can that. You whisper to me? Wait, wait. Do you have no. to fly a plane again? Most, most likely for most people, there will be planes. Here. As, 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 sorry, Jeffrey Hawk, I, I miss your concussion. That's going to be nice. He said hi, Chris, which I am not allowed to give any more details, but I just said you guys are going to have a great time. And I was like, you don't get to know. You'll learn in due time. But yeah, so hopefully. Why, yeah. Why are you not allowed to do Because they're trying to do something. Oh, okay. And they're trying to get more shots on net, which I think so it's kind of like a, I learned about a lot of warriors that, 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 that they're going to be a good tournament, though. Yes. It will. Just off the location alone. These, these national tournaments are always a good time. What I love so much about Hornets is, you know, it's given me the ability to travel and see different yeah. places. I definitely a lot of places in the Midwest. I definitely did it. Uh, do a lot of traveling. It gives, especially people with uh, lower incomes, a chance to get out, you know, go places. Hornets do a great job at paying for a lot of things, so these families get to come out and support their players, and everyone gets to have a good time without worrying about money, and that's such, that's one of the greatest things about the Hornets, especially if, if that weren't a thing. Uh, people like, especially like me, I definitely would not be able to do this if it weren't for that, so I can't thank the Hornets enough. JJ, all the coaching staff that put together these events, now the starting lineup for the Hornets, Xavier Verola's line to begin the third period. We got three drops for Buck, and it's fought for and won by the Ohio Warriors. Now number 30 trying to take it across the line, but he passes it off his own sled and loses it. We got a viewer says, come on, Hornets, make those shots count. That's what we got to do. We just got to keep getting those shots on and get them on net. The yeah, Hornets but, have definitely had this but, greatest but I know chances. The weakness of the Ohio Warriors. Which the goalie in his blocker is really weak. Yes, blocker side shots would be very good. And on he's ice really blocker. Good on his would be nice. Yes. So on ice blocker, I think is probably the best way. Has it going out? This goalie is definitely his greatest strength. Is obviously his positioning, and also I think. Here we go, Hornets! Here we go! Go Hornets! Here we go! We now definitely have a pass in front. Here we go. Kept in by Brendan Myers, a pass to Xavier Verola on the faceoff got back to Brendan Myers. We definitely Myers, have the best fans, uh, fan support here. Oh, absolutely. Loudest fans. No team does fan support like the Hornets do. Brendan Myers going to recover it on the blue line of his defensive end. There's such a passion for sled hockey for uh, the Hornets, one of the most storied teams. Oh! One, of the, one of the first oh, organized... One of the now, first DJ organizations in the state of Illinois is the Chicago Hornets, and probably one of the first major organizations in the nation. We've, we've seen, we've, I mean, the, the growth that this game has caused is just outstanding. Oh, this team, this organization. Okay. Oh, oh, Brendan Myers of the blocked lane. Defenseman. Now CJ Marshall trying to recover it, fighting with number 18 on the red line. A number 18. Xavier Verola now in front, off the front of the sled. Michael Wolfen tested now, trying to get it back to Brendan Myers. Oh, Brendan Myers Brandon now Myers. looking for a lane shot on the net. Like Saved by the goalie, but Aaron Holiday, Aaron Holiday waiting Holiday for the rebound. And Xavier Verola tries to get it, but number. And now the Warriors get it out of the zone. The Hornets will have to recover in their own defensive zone. Michael Wolfen Testa recovering the puck with Brendan Myers. CJ Marshall is up on the red line. You know, one of the things about this Ohio Warriors team is that it's mostly veterans, and they are, well, it's all veterans, actually, and they are older in age. Uh, Hornets are hoping their youth and speed, and they are endurance, the and agility one of the can out-tough them. One of the talking points in the locker room from head coach Jim Smith, uh, don't let the older, outsized competition get... Um, don't it, let it intimidate you. Yeah. You know, because we're faster than them, we have more endurance. Hoping these guys tire out. Where are you going to say, Chris? Oh, oh. Good recovery by Michael Bolpin Testa getting number 30 down to the ice. Now, now he's taking a break, getting off the ice. This may be a great time for the Hornets to get shots on net. Their best player, obviously, off the ice. Well, I shouldn't say that. I think by far their best player is 
with the save, number 34, their goaltender. The shutout out. he's maintained so far. He's been Let's hope we just put mind. the curse on him. The hex. No. Oh no. Oh, puck no. is resting in the middle of the ice. It's now, kind of a rare sight to see a puck completely stop. Now a dump in number 30 ice, trying ice, to get it away ice, from ice. Wolf and Testa, oh. but he doesn't. Now number 22, top of the faceoff dot along the boards, a pass in front. Brennan Myers recovers the puck and he gets it out of the zone off the boards. No, number 72 keeps it in. Now in front, good block by a Brendan. Somewhat whiffed slap by Brendan Myers. Number 30 tries to recover, but he can't now. Myers and 34 on the boards. A shot. No, no goal. goal is saved. Oh, uh, and man, the one of them trickles goes in. in. It happens. The Chicago Hornets are down. Uh, for nothing against the uh, Ohio Warriors. 11:08 it, left in the third, but the Hornets are still beating them on shots. 12-6. I think. I think. In from a coaching perspective, obviously I'm not a coach, even though I'm a much better coach than you. Um, I feel like a timeout's coming up soon. Okay. I don't know. We're live. Yeah. YouTube. We live stream all of our games. Yes. Yeah. You can rewatch all the games on YouTube. You can rewatch all the games from earlier. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah, there are. Yeah. I know. We, um. Yeah, you know, this is just kind of one of those unfortunate games where, you know, the goals that have been scored against us have been kind of trickle in and not super high effort. It's just frustrating these games happen, though. But, you know, if the Hornets, they won their last game yesterday, which gives them some padding in terms of making it to the championship game. Four one um, win yesterday. It will be um, it'd be crucial uh, to win tomorrow's game, obviously, to stay even more in the running. But you know, one loss is one loss. Uh, the only game that matters is Sunday and you know, all, all we're trying to do is win tomorrow. Well, it's not so entirely it. true. All these games matter in the in the long run. No icing for the Ohio Warriors. Brendan Myers collects on his own red line trying to get a pass up the ice off the boards and number 30 for the Warriors will collect it being chased down by Michael McCarthy. A pass behind gets to Xander Marshall, the 19-year-old. The we appreciate the support, Miss Grady. Me and Hunter definitely will probably end up becoming sportscasters of our other career plans don't pan out. Well, commentating, on, plan. commentating on minor league baseball games. Minor leagues? Probably Chicago Dogs. <laughs> Actually, no, nah, I'd rather be a college hockey commentator. Oh my god, I I'm gonna do that. When I'm gonna I go work to, for Denver. When I go to college, I'm gonna do that for like the student broadcast station 100%. Oh, dude, I work, yeah, DU's hockey team, I'll commentate on those games. Student radio. Now, Michael McCarthy behind the net trying to recover, uh, recover the puck. Pounded down by two defensemen. <laughs> Tyler Woodward trying to keep it in now. Brennan Myers racing back. Gets it's around a, him. It's a two-on-one attempt now. Two-on-two. Two. Xander Marshall hustling though, staying on his man number thirty. A and big then hit. Takes out oh. seventy-three. He's the referee. Penalty calling, for some reason. Referee calling a controversial T-boning penalty on number hey. twelve. Xander Marshall. I don't know if I agree with that I, call. I don't like that call. Let's see. Does Jim give the ref? I, th I think it was. Some, I think it was more. Like kind of side to side as opposed to straight on TV. I mean, you can't you can't argue it. Unfortunately, they do not have access to this footage to yeah. re uh, review their calls. And I think uh, definitely. No matter how hard Jim asks, they probably won't ever turn it. Later later tonight, I think we're definitely going to be in the hotel room looking Analyzing at this, this. and uh, definitely going to have some choice words for these referees. But uh, <laughs> I'd say the uh, officiating so far has been uh, excellent. Except with for the, except yesterday's the, novice game. Yeah, yesterday's novice game was a little questionable. A few questionable penalties. Good news on the front of injury. It, it is hopeful that possibly Rowan Cargi will make his return tomorrow. He unfortunately suffered a shoulder muscle strain, but um, he's saying that it's possible that he could come back, which would be a great benefit for the Hornets novice team. Oh, no! A big shot in front. Save by number 60, Jason Antor. Coming up big, definitely recovering. From goose, those goose, early goose, goals. goose. A big hit by. Uh, number 73 on Michael McCarthy. McCarthy quickly recovering, showing that incredible recovery ability. Where did the puck go? I think it's in one of their sleds. 
The puck stuck in number 73 sled. The referee, the officials for this game trying to recover the puck. You know, it, it is amazing how many places a puck could get stuck. You don't really realize it until you're on the ice dealing with it. A big thing is the, stuck, uh, the puck getting stuck, especially in novice games. The blades, blades are so far apart. Or under the, buckets. Uh, yep. Or in the by the legs. I've had pucks get stuck in my leg a lot, but also I'm a goalie. Yeah, they they shoot it right at my legs. <laughs> catch it right in between the legs. Sometimes they can even go through, unfortunately. Sled hockey Chris, who has been in the booth asking us how we are. We're doing great, Chris. Unless he's talking to the other uh, commenters. Flash, flash, 100-yard dash. Following McCarthy, McCarthy, play. Uh, Holiday trying to uh, hound it down behind the net. Number 73 looking for an outlet pass out of the zone. Big hit by Michael McCarthy. Now Michael McCarthy challenging the board. Attempts to make a hit but misses. And now it's behind the net again. Aaron Holiday now trying to recover it. No one. It's in front of the net, unfortunately. Trying to do their best to kill off this penalty. And I think they're doing a great job so far. Spend a majority of the time in their own zone, which is great. I've yeah. the oh Hornets, my. and oh, now it, ice. it won't ice. be an icing because of the hybrid ice, and also it reaches Jason Antor. Jason Antor covering it up, covering opting it. for a defensive zone faceoff. Seven minutes, 35 seconds left in regulation. Hornets down 4 0. I think it's safe to say that the best thing for them is just try and at least get one. I think to end this shutout would be satisfying enough because. I mean, anything to break the ice, gain some momentum, yeah. or just to gain some feeling. We'd like to give a shout-out to our viewers. We've had over 10 viewers the whole hour we have been streaming. Um, we certainly appreciate that. Just the commitment, especially since we had an over hour and a half, 18-round shootout, 0-1 win earlier. Definitely a marvel to sit through. And now coming back to sit through another hour-long game, that's a commitment. And the, the commitment of the family and friends of the Hornets is just unparalleled by any other team. Brendan Myers behind his own net trying to get the puck out. It's very cold. It's not that cold. I'm wearing a T-shirt. I'm fine. Now Xavier Varola, he's got a 1-0 chance. 18 and 30 skating backwards. Varola is going to try and look for the pass. No one there. Maybe across to ZJ Marshall if he can get the puck and control it. Brendan. Xavier Varola looking for a pass. He's being chased down by two Ohio Warriors. No. Trying to get it to Michael Volkensesta, but he couldn't. But Xander Marshall out of the box. Recovering a possible breakaway chance. Another, another big hit. Big hit. Xander, Mar <laughs> Xander, Mar Xander Marshall has definitely been a magnet for these hits so far this game. I know. Big Z. Big Z. Big, the biggest Z. The biggest Z on the ice, you're right. Then what am I? You're big Z on the Nahas. Nah, yeah. Big Z, little Z, medium Z. Well, okay. The triple Z Marshalls. Big hit by Brendan Myers on the goal line now, trying to get it back. Xavier Varola now it squirts out to the center of the offensive zone, and the Warriors get it out. A breakaway pass, number 30 couldn't recover it, and it's offsides. We will get a neutral zone faceoff. No, and I just remembered I got to make a post about this at the end of this weekend for yes, the Instagram do. account. We love our social media managers. We love Miss Cargi for running the Facebook and, and our YouTube, YouTube channel. Um, These live streams would not be possible without her. Obviously, we're using her iPad and tripod for the recording. And yeah. we, yeah, I, I took the easy job of running the uh, Instagram. You know what we do need is we need Mr. Calzante to get back on the TikTok grind. I missed the TikTok, dude. Uh -oh. Now number 30 racing it back, trying to beat Michael Volpentesta. Looks like it's going to be a close race here. Neither of them can recover it. Now uh, Xander Marshall trying to help out his teammate, and he does. They recover it behind the net. The referee desperately trying to get out of the way of number 12, Xander Marshall. He knows that Xander will t somehow find a way to T-bone a yeah. non-sled player. And now Xavier Varola back. It's a one-on-one -on -one with the defenseman. I think Xander might actually have the most penalty. Oh, he swings off because he loses it. Well, no. Xavier did have six last game, so I, I think do. it's a close race. He had six penalties? Yeah. Oh, oh my no, God. he had six minutes of oh. penalty time. Well, that's a, I don't know. Xander and Xavier probably have the most penalty minutes in this season. Overall, I'd say Mike McCarthy. 
Penalty minutes, important stat to see who's an enforcer. And now What's the puck, up? number 30 racing back, looks like it's going to be another one-on-one -on -one chance. He can't recover the, the puck to get a good shot off behind the net. Now a pass in front recovered by Brennan Myers. Point is trying to break it out. I have not. This could be a great opportunity for a shot on net here. Brennan Myers can safely carry it into the zone, but... We have less than five minutes remaining in the third period. Hornets great, down 4-0. great keep by Brennan Myers. Dumps it in. Now Xavier Rolf trying to get back. Number 18 recovering behind the net. Ohio will try and get it out off the board. CJ Marshall will try and recover it, but it gets to number five and makes it out of the zone. Michael Volpatesta on the blue line. Fought off by number 30. Hornets keep it out of the zone. Now it goes back in. Ohio's offside. Hornets have a great opportunity to break it out here. You can hear the coaches on the bench. Both coaches are uh, have choice words for their players right now. The puck will make it into the zone. There will be no icing. Now Xavier Verula trying to fight off number five. He hits him into the boards. Big hit. No more starting. No more starting. No more I don't like him as a bitch. Because it is. You don't even know who he is. Yes, he is. Yes, I do. Double amputee. Yeah. Oh. What do you have against him? He's an ass. About what? He talks so much shit. Oh. If that might, if is it muted? It is not. I we just, are live, Mike. Hot Mike. He I just said, like, up. I slipped and up. And I, you're fine. It was under who your cares? breath. Who cares? Who cares? Oh, why? I saw it in my face. I did. <laughs> Defensive zone face off for the Hornets. Won by Ohio. Back to 72. Put shot on net. Go get it. That's insane. That's insane. A quick shot goes wide. Number 73 behind the net trying to make a pass. He can't get it. Hornets will try and get it out of their zone. Looks like a penalty called on the Ohio Warriors now. Glasgow's a big company. No, Glasgow. It's another Chicago team. They're like, they do like a bunch of different adaptive sports. Yeah, I, I do try to do them. They also do basketball and hockey. And oh no! Archery. Hornets down Archery. in the third. Eee! Right. Yeah, you play basketball though, right? Yeah, I play that with a different team. Oh yeah. Oh. Three minutes, 15 seconds left Wait, in regulation. Hornets trying how'd to... McCarthy, how'd McCarthy get a penalty? Uh, I think he got a T-boning penalty. I originally thought it was on the Warriors, but obviously it's against the Hornets. Hornets back on the penalty kill for the third time this game. They've done a good job of killing off the penalties. No uh, power play goals for the Warriors so far. All, all Warriors goals coming up even strength. I think it would be even fair to say that the Hornets have controlled ice time more than the Warriors have on their own uh, penalty. I'm going to head down. Okay. All right. Next whistle. Warriors behind their own net. Or behind the Hornets net. Apologies. At least he's left. Trying to keep it in. Oh, no. Now, oh, no. in the middle of the ice, a oh, quick yeah. shot blocked by Tyler Woodworth into the corner. Number 73 recovering it. Aaron Holiday trying to put pressure on him. Our goal differential is now negative one. I do have a one and one, negative one. Big play by ZJ. Is ZJ put in the penalty box? No. ZJ has not been in the box. Not that I remember. Well, one time this season, I think. 2.05 left in our uh, so, game here. Offside. Myers will dump it in into the corner. Hornets will try and re-enter the zone. ZJ Marshall and Aaron Holiday on offense for the penalty kill unit with... 
Tyler Woodworth and Brennan Myers on defense. Brennan Myers now collecting a puck in his own zone, number 30, pounding him down, but he ends up getting it out of the zone. Aaron Holiday misses the puck, and now the Warriors trying to get one last push on their penalty with 20 seconds left. We, um... Just ignore him with the oh, I gotta go and help uh, set up or um, get the locker room ready. This is Jack Fitzpatrick signing off, passing it off to Hunter Doan with one minute 17 left. Bye bye. Hey, boys, let's get ready to get down there and clear out the locker Now that that freak show's gone. Richard, yeah. we're heading down. Yeah, we gotta get Jack. Oh, I'm just hey. grab him if you wanna sit up here with these guys. You're, t you're too low. You gotta come up higher. You wanna come with us? Alright. You can stand up on the Hey, has anyone seen the Pringles? Sorry, I had to help out our little, our goat. Jensen Russo, the greatest sled hockey player of all time, obviously. 24 seconds left in regulation. The Hornets, it's safe to say, the final score, Hornets 0. The Ohio Warriors 4 shots at the end of the game. 13 in favor of the Hornets, 9 in favor of the Warriors. A great showing by number 34, the goaltender for the Ohio Warriors. Unfortunately, Jason Antor could not come up big in net. We'll get him next game, though. Thank you for watching. Uh, that's it. Go ahead and stop it. Good job, Hunter. I appreciate you letting me do that. It's good though, what I'm, that's what I'm trying to do when I'm older, like color commentary. Something, something in sports media. That would be awesome. Good chance to practice. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. it. Anytime you want to, babe. Yep.